Welcome to Exchange Theory with Holman's Social Exchange Theory. We're going to look at in this discussion and look forward to sharing some of these thoughts with you. George Holman's lived from 1910 to 1989. He's educated at Harvard and later taught there as well. He taught sociology courses as well as medieval history courses. Here we look at Holman's social exchange theory in different areas. First, we look at what people he saw as people will do things that are rewarding. So they'll exchange a previous behavior in order for something that will gain them a reward. Hence the exchange, the idea of exchange. The more similar situation is to one from the past, the more likely actions that were rewarded will be performed now. So basically, this is a condition response in exchange for what one was doing previous. Rewards gain value when deprived and vice versa. A failure to get rewards expected equals anger, and getting rewards not expected equals happiness. So here again, you see the exchange going on. The frequency of a person doing an action depends on the value of the outcome and the probability of getting it. That's very interesting and something that I think is very pertinent. As we wrap up this lecture of home and social exchange theory, definitely can go into much more depth, but just kind of want to give you guys a bird's eye view of this theory and allow you to have the opportunity to investigate a little bit further on your own. There's a lot that's been done on the social exchange theory. Other scholars have built upon home and social exchange theory and invite you to look at those. Many of you are probably familiar with Skinner. His social exchange theory that, that he had as well, and a bit of controversy that went back and forth between he and Holmans on the different approaches, worth in something for, for sure to investigate.